Technology is at the foundation of progress. And as you said, Baker Hughes for decades has used technology to help our customers across multiple industries. As we look at the net zero pledges that many companies have made, we're providing technology that can be utilized today as well as tomorrow in their roadmaps. We break it down into three categories. Firstly, what is available today to actually stop greenhouse gases from existing hydrocarbon infrastructure, such as non-leak valves, compressors that don't have leaks, and these can be introduced and actually achieve considerable savings. How do we use digital data to reduce non-productive time? And as we look at also the release of flare gases, we've got Flare IQ as a new technology that helps to reduce that flaring and capture the natural gas to be used. Also methane. Technologies such as Lumen that we introduced into the marketplace, helping to reduce the aspect of methane leaks and detecting those methane leaks. That's what we can do today. Secondly, we can actually look at new capabilities that are on the horizon and that are being introduced into digital applications, being able to use data analytics to be able to improve the operations from a production optimization, as well as then from a reduction of non-productive time. And thirdly, as you look at new technologies around CCUS, around hydrogen and clean integrated power solutions. We at Baker Hughes are an energy technology company working across the oil and gas and multiple industries to help them achieve their milestones towards a net zero future. We view collaborations as a key foundation to being able to make progress. And in fact, you can't make progress alone. We have to work with our partners, such as ADNOC, such as Aramco, and in particular, within the Middle East, we have several partnerships, including some that we've announced here at Egypt, and also in reference to COP27, being able to reduce methane, being able to introduce some of the technologies that we have. At the end of the day, we think that collaboration is necessary with regards to making progress. Nobody can do this alone, and so we work with our customers across the globe and also our partnerships to ensure that we're introducing technologies and working together really on the advances that need to be made. And those advances include hydrogen projects as well as then clean integrated power solutions and CCUS projects. And it's essential that we work with our partners going forward. At events such as these, COP27, it really brings in the framework of how complex the ecosystem is and how important stakeholders need to convene and talk about those challenges together. I'm very happy to see that at this venue, we're seeing the oil and gas industry meet with the other industries, meet with policymakers, and that's what you need. You need a convening of all stakeholders to make progress. Now that we're here, it's about actions and outcomes, and how do we make sure that financing is available to introduce the new technologies, how we make sure that there's projects that move forward, and how we make sure that there isn't a divide between the North and the South, and that we prosper all together through collaboration and by talking about the issues that matter.